So yeah, I might have crashed a couple times. That's right, I killed him. What are you gonna do about it? What is going on guys? Devin here aka Misspelled Rubble and welcome back to Project Cars. I'm not gonna lie, it does feel like a long time since I've played this game. And uh, I do remember though, I hate this car. Now I already went through the practice and the qualifier, so we're right in the race already. We're ready to go. Um, and magically, I don't even know how, but magically on the last lap of the qualifier, I, <laughs> I put down a 151. And uh, the fastest I had put down before that was 157. So I was somehow magically able to qualify in first place for the pole position. And um, that is incredibly crucial for me for this car especially. Because I am so uncomfortable in this Ford Escort Mark II. I believe it's the Mark II. I'm not entirely sure. I can't remember. But yeah, I'm so uncomfortable in this car. It's not even funny. I'm just, I'm really bad at driving in it. Uh, and of course it's not going to show through now because now that we're in the race, of course everyone's going to back off and drive a little bit easier. Um, but we did halfway through the qualifying too. I was doing okay. I set down the fastest lap initially and then everyone beat it. Uh, and then right as I was on my like third lap, I thought I was going to set a really good one. The rain started to come down and that rain, I don't know why my wipers are going. Maybe they heard rain, but that rain just completely threw off like the next three laps, it was horrible, or the next lap or two, or whatever it was. It was just atrocious. And uh, finally, on the last lap, it started to clear up, and I was finally able to put it down. And man, did I throw it down. I beat the guy behind me by like three whole seconds. How I did that, I have no idea. I couldn't, oh man. Just as I'm talking about how good I am. Whoa, look at my right mirror. Why is it getting all sketched out? Yeah, it's actually kind of funny sketched out because it actually does look like pencil drawing, like pencil sketch. That's really strange. There we go. Fixed it. I just had to hit what That was weird. I don't know what that was. But, uh, yeah, it's the first uh, real issue I've had with Project Cars texture and graphically. I mean, this game graphically is beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. And uh, mechanically... Not mechanically, but like um, physically, I guess you could say. The way everything feels, the cars and the cars and everything else, which is just the cars. I don't know, but the cars feel phenomenal. Uh, this game, by far, and yes, I am gonna get Forza Six. I've gotten every single Forza since Forza Two. Um, I'm I'm gonna get Forza Six, and I'm gonna get it so I can do the um, early download and actually play it early. If you do the limited edition. I believe you actually get like early access to it or whatever. Um, and yeah, I'm going to do that. I'm going to be playing Forza 6. I cannot wait for that game. Um, well, actually, that's the funny thing. I can't wait for it because I love Forza. Not that the game looks that great, but I've just... It's one of those things where I'm loyal to the franchise, I guess. And um, in my belief, I don't think they've really made a good Forza Motorsport since like Forza Motorsport 4. I think 5 kind of blew... I think Horizon 1 was actually surprisingly good, but incredibly short. I think Horizon 2 was longer, but had, like, no real meat to it. Like, I didn't really... Oh, my God. I didn't really care about trying to follow the story that they loosely set up. Uh, so it got incredibly repetitive after a while. And that kind of bummed me out, because Forza Horizon 2 was actually a pretty awesome game if you got to play... Oh, shit! It's actually a pretty awesome game if you got a chance to play. Get back on the track. No, 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 no. Don't hit. Don't stop hitting me. God fucking damn it. I was doing so good too, and when I re entered, you guys can clearly stay out of my way, but instead they decide to just plow right into you. That guy just completely cut that corner. I'm gonna have to get around him too, because he's gonna early break on this corner, and I don't need to. And he's gonna undercut me. Holy shit, he's gonna undercut me. Is this the last lap, too? I'm gonna be so mad if this is the last lap. That happens to me every time I'm driving in this car. I get... I just... Fuck myself. I don't know how it happens, but I just... Crash horrendously every time I drive it. And I'm in, like, a, a championship series, too. Like, I can't just not drive this car ever again. I've got, like, five or six more races to do in it. 
And because of how poorly I've done in the other race, other race or races, I can't remember if I just did one or two. I'm so far behind in the standings that I I need to get some first place finishes here. I'm just going to come in like dead last. And I cannot let that happen. Not on my watch. I'm trying to go zero to hero. I'm not trying to be stuck. You know, I want to be invited to every single invitational possible. And that's, whoa, did I just get bumped or is that the rain? Whoa. Might be the rain. Holy crap, that was a, that was a serious slide right there. But I need to stay ahead of this small little pack that's following me. I can't get caught up in that. Uh, I'm going to have to scoot right. Whoa, cut me off a little bit there. I'm going to try and undercut these two guys. I don't think I'm going to be able to get up there to get that uh, red car, but I'm going to try my hardest to just try and undercut these guys. And t Wow, Jesus Christ. Would you go? Oh, I don't have any wheels on the ground. Am I in dead last again? I think I'm in dead last. Wow, such a bummer. Oh, man, I hate this car so much with a burning, red-hot passion. I hate this car. I cannot wait to get out of this car. Look at that. Look, it just keeps on sliding. I have no grip. I have no grip. I'm, I'm only going 50. And I have absolutely no grip in this car. It's unbelievable. And my tires are warm. Bottom right corner, all green tires. I have warm tires. Just for whatever reason, they decide that they have no grip, and then when you have no grip in this car, you have nothing. You Look at that. Look, it's going. Oh, man. Yeah, I cannot wait to get out of this car. Not to mention... Holy shit. Okay, okay. Oh, my God. I'm coming across the line sideways. Ho, 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 ho. What a way to end the race. So freaking bad. Of course, we're not going to restart. I'm not going to cheat. Um, look at that. Qualifying. 151. Couldn't put it down, though. God, what a bummer. What an absolute shame. Let's go ahead and jump on into the next race here. Hopefully, we can redeem ourselves. Bolton Park Fort Fosters. I've never driven here before, I don't believe. And thank God I am back in the cage room. I've driven here many times before. Never mind. All right, so I did manage to uh, finish in second place. I set the fastest time and then kind of set the... Uh, or spent the rest of the qualifier just kind of screwing around and trying to drift the cage room. And then on the very last lap, this fucker right there, Robert Yates, I believe his name is, came and put in a better time than me on the very last lap. And I was like, you gotta be fucking kidding me. And he only beat me by like three hundredths of a second or something like that. Not even a whole lot. If I hadn't screwed around, I might have been able to beat him. Um, but, you know, I had more fun that way. It's a good way to relax, but oh man, I have to say, I am so happy to be back in the cage room. Uh, being in that Ford Escort, Escort, Ford Escort Mark II, and then being in this is just so different. This car, you can actually have this car handle pretty well. That Ford just does whatever it wants to do, but this car is amazing. I love the cage room in this game, it just feels so good. It feels so planted. It feels just usable. Whereas the Ford feels horrendous. Um, in a lot of other games too, and I know, I, I think I've said this before in some of my other videos on Project Cars where I'm driving the cage room too, but this car just feels so good in this game, and in every other game, the cage room feels like crap. Like, you just cannot handle it nearly as well as you can in this game, and I love it. Absolutely love it. I think this car is the staple point for this game. This is what really sells me on this game, is that the cars just feel so good. They feel so manageable, they feel so controllable, they feel like cars should feel. Uh, they're not like Forza. If you were to go into Forza and drive like your real, everyday car in Forza, it would feel completely different. I know that for a fact because I have done that before. It feels so different. And uh, I'm not talking about Forza Horizon 2 because that game you can pretty much drift around anything, but like Forza Motorsport, especially Forza Motorsport 5, where they took cars out of the game to then offer you them as DLC later. That pissed me off. And everything just felt so stiff that it didn't feel like a car. I've driven a car in real life and then drove it in that game, and it felt so different. It just felt so much worse in the game 
than it felt in real life, and there's no reason for that. That just means that you didn't quite tweak your physics right. And the cool thing about like Project Cars, and especially like Dirt Rally, Dirt Rally's doing this a lot. They are talking to professional drivers, and then going back in and editing the f editing editing the physics in their game in order to better match real life. How cool is that? I mean, come on, that is like the ultimate cool. Oh, what a good race. Good, easy race. Just completely dominated that one. Suck it, Robert Yates. <laughs> Am I in first place? Look at that. Oh, he, yeah, see, he qualified at 1.17. I did too, but he put in a 1.171. I put in a 1.174. Um, which screwed me. There we go. Race number one down. Let's see if we can jump into another race here and what that race is going to be. All right, we are back in Glen Carn, driving the carts one more time yet again. And these are the less powerful carts. I'm not really sure why I'm in this championship, to be honest with you. But, um, yeah, whatever. Uh, we need to... Whoa, I forgot about how... I did not cut the track there! What do you... I didn't even come close to cut... Whoa, okay, we're going left. My bad. That's my bad. Yeah, I did cut the track there. I have not driven these carts in a long time, and to be honest with you, I'm glad that I haven't, because I do not care for the carts. Um, the 250cc are not bad. But these ones are just abysmal. The physics in them just do not feel right. You just feel like you should be doing better than you are. There we go. Look, I drifted a cart. Not too bad. That's the one thing, too. In these carts, you don't get a, uh, a practice or a warm-up or any... Oh, shit, I just cut the track so bad. You don't get a practice or a qualifier or anything like that. You're right into the race. Uh, you start in the sprint, and then you go right into the second one, the rolling start. And uh, if you're not ready to go, you're screwed. Because they're all ready to go. They're they're all... Well, there's nobody there, but usually they're chomping at the bit. Ready to beat the crap out of you. Yeah, I don't know why. We just started, and I did not even come close to cutting the course. You guys finally saw it in the video. And it claims I cut the course. Oh, another thing too, you might notice I'm in third person. I cannot drive these carts in first person, the 125cc. I do terribly in them. I don't know if it's because the field of view just seems off or what, but I just, I can't do it. I have to be in third person for the 125cc carts, and it does help in the 250cc carts as well for me to be in third person. I don't really know why, it's kind of strange, I know, especially since I'm racing all the other cars in first person, but whatever helps because I mean I'll take whatever I can get I need to whoa it's a bit of a spin out there for hitting that dip that's what I'm talking about the physics in the I did not cut the track there that's what I'm talking about the physics in this game for the carts being a little bit off everything else they nailed it feels right on but the carts feel a little bit I went off the track there and they didn't even care the carts just feel a little bit effed quite honestly like right there, I did not cut that track. You guys saw, I was clearly within the track. And they don't, they don't, whoa. Go, go, go. Did I, how many, did I lose any positions or did I really have that big of a lead? I might have had that big of a lead, that's weird. That's a really large lead too, and I did actually uh, bump up the difficulty and it doesn't really seem to have mattered all that much. I'm still a beast, what can I say, I'm the best. Oh, and another thing too, if you guys did not cut the track, if you guys ever want to play Project Cars with me, if you're looking to do like some kind of online event, or if you want to do a car meetup, um, let me know. Send me a message, DM me, tweet me, email me, call me, reach me. No, it's beat me if you want to reach me. Kim Possible was an awesome show. Anyway, if you do want to play Project Cars with me, let me know. I'd be happy to do it. I'm always looking to play with new people. And, uh, trying to build a little Project Cars crew. Maybe we can continue to play Forza coming up here soon. Alright, guys. Unfortunately, that is going to do it for me for this episode. Yep, that is a streak, man. Um, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe if you would like to see some more. Shit. Next Monday, we're going to be back in the Ford Escort. And I don't want to be. I don't want to be. But until then, guys. Peace.